What's happening, high steppers? So, yeah, it's been, I know it's been a while, but it has been a really, really hectic week. I feel like I've lived two years in this one week. But, um, I know I said in a, in a previous video that, uh, my neighbor, um, passed and, Yeah, I'm, I'm still dealing with it because, like I said, in our little neighborhood, there's, um, there were three of us, three to four of us who were really tight, and, um, like I said, the, and I don't know if y'all can see outside my back window, but, um, the neighbor I'm talking about, um, lived in the house behind me, but anyway, um, we just got a little bit of word on the the final preparations for that for um I don't want to say her her burial or her funeral or whatever because um her wishes were to be cremated and taken back to her home state of West Virginia um to be scattered out there somewhere so um that's what's gonna happen um but as we all know there's always some drama that happens and um so there's people coming out of the woodworks trying to fight over insurance money and and all that kind of stuff so yeah it's getting kind of crazy um but we're still we're still trying to be as compassionate as possible and trying to help where we can. But, um, um, and when I say we, I mean myself and, and my neighbor who lives directly next door to me. So, um, but I think they've gotten us to the point where, um, there's nothing else that we can do directly. Um, everything is left in the hands of her husband, my, ne my neighbor's husband, so we have kind of backed off a little bit um, as of after yesterday, which was Friday, because um, we did we did do a whole lot um, yesterday. Anyway, so um, since we're on pause, well, since the two of us are on pause, we're just going to continue on with with what we have to do in our lives and and just be on the ready if if they if her husband or anybody else um needs us for anything i guess is what we're saying so but that's what that is and then <clears throat> in addition to um all of that um that's the slight update. Um, my my house, since we're talking about the neighborhood, my house is up for being um, rewired. So I've been I've been in my house for a few years now. I think it's been over it's been over ten years now. So and it the house that I live in was originally built in the late fifties, early sixties, I think. And I've done a few things to it, you know. I've, I've I, I did an, I put a new roof on it, um, got it re rewired when I um, after I had been in in it for a couple of years, and um, the the first time I had it rewired was out of necessity because of the old fuses, the old time fuses that were in the house, so. Um, and at that time, I had gotten a, a breaker box inside the house that matches the outside of the house. And um, at that time, I got, like, the first, like, half of the house we got rewired. And so, it's now time to get the rest of the house rewired, or it's past time. But, um, so, I'm in communication with having that done uh, because... They seem to, they, whoever they are, seem to think that that could be part of 
the issues that I've been having with having intermittent power outages and things like that. Although I tend to disbelieve that because um, sometimes it wasn't just my house. There were other houses in the neighborhood that were going through the same thing at the same time. But uh, anyway, it uh, it's neither here nor there uh, because it does give me an excuse to to get the second the the second part of it done. So I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do it now. Uh, I think I'm going to wait until school gets out. So that might be a, a summer project. We'll, we'll see. Um, but like I said, I am in communications with several companies. And y'all know how it is. I may just go with the company that I used for the first part of the job. Because, yeah, I feel like if I go with a different company, then they're going to do things to make me end up having to pay them to do the entire house where well, I would rather go with the company that I used before because one they already know me two uh they might give me a discount and three the 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 company has already done work in my house so that seems to be the case however being somebody who is um pretty much money conscious um I'm gonna go with what is physically responsible, physically responsible, not physically, and something that um, that won't put me too much in debt, and then still get the job done to where I don't have to do a recall and have things redone. So, those are the three things I'm looking for. So, like I said, I'm pushing for um, summer. It might even it might even bleed into um, when when we go back to school in August. I don't know. Anyway, we'll find out. And uh, and that's just my timeline. Um, we all know that when you're getting work done at your house, you kind of have to go on the timeline of the workers. So we shall see. Um, and then. Uh, since I was out, because uh, I, I had to leave my house for a little bit. Um, one, because my car was nasty. This pollen is no joke. Um, so I wanted to get my car washed. But, y'all, with this pollen season going on, even if I wash my car tomorrow, my car will be covered. But I did want to just, um, just hose off. Um, some of the, some of the nastiness. So, it looks like a car again. Um, and now I'm not sneezing as much when I walk near my car. But we'll, we'll see what happens after that too. Um, and then, I think that's all I want to, I think that's all I want to say right now. Um, but I did want to make sure that y'all had an update on um, my neighbor again and that whole situation and then just um, I wanted to put out another video because like I said it's been a while and it's just been really hectic at work so um, yeah and um, I do I am going to be working a little bit today because since I lost some of the time from yesterday having to do some of the stuff I did so um, I'm gonna do that because according to my clock that my self-imposed time I have another hour before I get on the clock for a few hours so anyway um, I hope y'all are doing well and that you're staying healthy and um, yeah I'll see you again in the next video but before I go Y'all know what to do. Get your knees up because you know I can't. And as always, y'all know who he is. Jesus, he is my homie. He is my Lord and Savior. And he is the reason that I am able to do what I do. And he is the reason why I am still here. Um, and he is definitely the reason why I'm not feeling as much of survivor's remorse anymore. Because I am still here for a reason. And 
without him, without Jesus, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't do anything. And, you know, and with him, I can do all things. So, kept that in mind. And even if you don't know him, if you want to get to know him, it's real easy to do. So, I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care, you guys. Bye.